Good evening and thanks for joining us on New Center Main at 5. I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill. From the responses we've gotten from our recent story about electric cars, it seems like many here in Maine would be interested in an EV, but people still have a lot of questions. Questions about the cost, the availability of charging stations, and especially how well the cars perform in cold temperatures. Meteorologist and electric vehicle enthusiast Keith Carson dug into this last question, explaining how a heat pump can enhance the way an EV works. First, let's explore why both gas and electric cars get lower mileage in the winter. Internal combustion vehicles mile per gallon start dropping under 45 degrees, bottoming them out at 28% lower than mileage during the summer months. That lower mileage translates into lower range per tank. The difference, of course, is how quickly you can fill up a gas tank. For gas vehicles, there are several factors at work here. Winter grades of gas have less energy per gallon in them. Cold engines are less fuel efficient upon startup. Idling to warm up a car reduces mileage, and cold air is more dense, leading to more aerodynamic drag on the vehicle. This last point is something that both EVs and gas vehicles have in common during the winter. The air is simply harder to move out of the way. That means it takes more energy. Now, from here, the winter challenges diverge. The number one drain on driving range in an EV isn't the battery losing performance from the cold, it's the fact that the battery must supply the energy to heat the cabin for the passengers. If you think about a gasoline car, the engine creates a lot of excess heat by running. This is essentially lost energy in the process of combustion. But that excess heat can be harnessed and pushed into the cabin. This act doesn't really impact gas mileage too much because that heat was already there, it was a byproduct. Think your hood as it burns off snow after a snowstorm. In an EV, there's no engine. Therefore, many models use the battery to run an electric resistance heater to keep the cabin warm, very much like a baseboard in a house. That uses a lot of energy. That energy then cannot be used for the drivetrain, and there we have it, range goes down. There are other nuances here, such as the small amount of energy diverted to keep the battery warm. But overall, the point is, heating is a big kilowatt hour drain. So what can be done about this? The best solution so far is installing a heat pump in electric vehicles. These heat pumps, much like those used in houses, are up to three times as efficient as a standard electric heater. Using less energy to heat translate into increased range. So instead of the range being reduced by up to 45% in cold weather, a vehicle with a heat pump often sees a reduction of 10 to 25%. Here's a picture I took this weekend when I drove from Maine to the Lakes region in New Hampshire and back with temperatures in the 20s. In this case, my vehicle used only 4% of the energy discharged in the journey to heat the cabin. Therefore, the car returned from a 180 mile journey with over 70 miles of range still left. Which brings me to the overall point here. If you intend to use an electric vehicle year round in Maine, not just as a toy during the summer, you should probably purchase an EV with a heat pump. The models are not necessarily much more expensive and some offer a pump as an add-on for about 1500 bucks. Here are some of the vehicles that, as of airing this, come with a heat pump or offer it as an option. And Tesla just began including a heat pump in all their models. And there are plenty of other brands, as you can see, that offer this heat pump. They'll likely become standard over time, as they also increase the efficiency of cooling the cabin in a hotter climate. 